All right, let's keep our team coverage going now as we continue to follow the storm cleanup this morning. The wind last night and all the rain kept emergency crews very busy in the New London area. That's where we find Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Nuclo. She's live outside the early morning weather tracker, too, with a look at the conditions this morning. Caitlin, weren't there some water rescues that were underway, or I should say people trapped in their cars due to all the flooding? Yeah, Nicole, if I heard you right, I think you were talking about the cars that were trapped in the flooding here on Bank Street. It's actually so windy out here that I'm having trouble hearing what you're saying to me, but I want to show you, um, you can see Bank Street behind me and you can see traffic is moving smoothly on it now. So no problems here in New London in far, as far as road closures um, or damage from the storm. But last night it really was a different story and we can show you uh, some video that we gathered last night because emergency crews were certainly busy. Take a look at this. This is in the Bank Street area. Uh, last night, multiple people had to be rescued from their cars. One person removed from a basement apartment, we're told. Um, you can see how the roads were quickly filled up with water. In some spots, it was even close to covering fire hydrants. That's how deep the water was. But this morning, that water has all receded now. And if we uh, take you back out here live, you can see just in this parking lot off to the side of Bank Street, there is some pooling and some puddles still there, but um, we did check in with the 911 dispatch this morning because we wanted to know what it would be like as you head out the door. They say there are no road closures right now, so you're just going to have to deal with this wind. I also checked in with Eversource. Looks like about 100 homes in this area are without power right now. We'll keep you posted. Um, we'll keep you updated on the conditions here in the New London area. That's where we're live this morning with Early Warning Weather Tracker 2. Caitlin Nuclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.